Welcome and thanks for joining us at EMII.com. I'm Kathleen Reddington with your Hedge Fund Headlines. Today is Tuesday, August 26, 2008. Chicago-based asset management firm Citadel Investment Group is seeking $1 billion for a new global macro hedge fund. The fund is set to be managed by in London by Kaveh Alamudi, whom Citadel hired this year from New York-based Moore Capital Management, LLC. Citadel oversees $20 billion. Macro funds, which attempt to profit from broad economic trends by trading stocks, bonds, currencies, and commodities, gained an average of 3.7% this year through July, according to data compiled by the Chicago-based Hedge Fund Research, Incorporated. And staying with Hedge Fund News, Cleveland Cliffs, Incorporated, recommended that its shareholders vote against a move by Harbinger Capital Management to acquire up to a one-third stake in the iron ore miner. According to Bloomberg News, the hedge fund has been protesting the $10 billion deal for Cleveland Cliffs to buy Alpha Natural Resources, Inc. Under an Ohio law, Cleveland Cliffs stockholders will be allowed to vote on Harbinger's plans. Harbinger and its affiliates hold a 16% stake in Cleveland Cliffs. Harbinger's CEO, Philip Falcone, has said that instead of making an acquisition, now is the perfect time for Cleveland Cliffs to focus on on a sale. And in more hedge fund news, private equity firms looking to buy Lehman Brothers Asset Management business are expressing doubts about the unit's minority stakes in several hedge funds. The Financial Times reports that Lehman is considering a variety of options to raise cash before its mid-September earnings report, which analysts expect to include write-downs of up to $4 billion. The possibilities include a sale of a stake in Lehman itself or the sale of all or part of its asset management arm or its commercial real estate portfolio. Portfolio. And in other hedge fund news, Samsung Securities is expanding into alternative investments ahead of February 2009 deregulation in the Korean financial services sector. The firm, which has yet to iron out details to deal with investment and insurance overlaps, is establishing a desk in Singapore to manage a new alternative investment strategy. And that rounds out today's hedge fund headlines. Thanks for joining us on EMII.com. For more details on these stories and much more, click onto our hedge fund channel online, read the full stories and the latest developments. Thank you.